Epic have just hosted a 2 hour stream showcasing the new features at UE5.4 and some huge things, like a quick dive into the animation sample project and the release date, information about mentaling, lots of nodes nobody knew about their existence, and much more about motion matching, control rigs, and rendering. But in this video, we'll talk only about motion matching. I know what you all want to hear, so let's start with that. The release date of the animation project is. June. We don't know a specific date yet, but it's next month, so it's very exciting. The topic of motion matching was presented by Jose, a lead animation programmer at Epic Games, which presented the topic really good. He started by showcasing the sample project and saying they will continue to update and upgrade it with every update of Unreal. Then he showed us how to set up the system, which is basically the part 1 tutorial on my channel. After that, he showed a real debugger tool, double clicked on a pull search and open the poor search debugger. Here you can dive really deep to see why the system picked the animation it's picked, see what other option it's almost picked, and do many other things. So it's a super useful tool. Then he started to show some things that I don't know how many of you knew about their existence, um, I surely didn't. He started by showing us what was so missing to me this entire time, the ability to really control the database. Jose double clicked on his own update function in the motion matching node and introduce a new thing called choosers. Choosers are used to switch between databases and other assets based on a value from your character blueprint. In my part two motion matching tutorial, we did the same thing to switch between air animations, running, crouching, and walking, but with blend bull instead of choosers. If you want to know how to do it, there is a link in the end of this video. And it's a good time to say how much I appreciate all the likes and comments in the last video those numbers are freaking insane, and it really helps me to continue doing those videos. Choosers is a really cool feature, and you can even see it in the Rewind Debugger, as you can see right now. And now for the peak of the presentation, Jose said, Let's talk about something that you're not going to find most likely anywhere right now, so let's talk about traversal. I know a lot of people are probably wondering, how do I get this to work with motion matching? Okay, and I'll tell you right now. I will upload a full tutorial for it, hopefully by Sunday. Subscribe to not miss it out. So I won't go too deep into it right now, but in really short, the traversal animations are actually mounted just with root motion. And he showed us the function used in the sample project to execute this. And as for how you feed the system the information, or if there is an obstacle in front of you and you can mental on it, is by creating a new position channel for the PSS which he also showed how to create. And if you don't know what channels in the PSS are, it's a super important topic. And again, there's a link in the description to my part two tutorial. We use it to make channel place animations. Then inside the channel, he is fitting the result of a trace he calculated in a character component in order to get a position of the obstacle. And for the last topic, Jose showed us a new node called steering that help us create smoother face forward animations using animations warping. In really short, what steering does is taking the root motion information and wraps it towards our character desired facing. And then we get this. If you want to see the full live stream, there's a link in the description. Please like the video, it helps me massively. And again, thank you for all the comments and likes in the last video. It's totally insane. Subscribe to see the next tutorials and have a wonderful day. Peace.